What's up? It's your boy Dragon back with another tutorial. And today, if y'all got a subscriber request video for y'all, and basically it's gonna be how to make an anime banner or head or whatever you want to choose. But for me to drop the PSD in the description, I'm gonna need 50 likes on this video. So if y'all want to see that, feel me, go down there, drop a like on the video. If y'all want um to request the video, go in the comment section, put what you want to request. I try to figure out how to do it, upload it. But um, you can email me too if you want to get it me quicker. But with all that being said, let's just straight into the tutorial. Alright, so basically what I did when I started off was, um, yeah, I just basically put 1500 by 500. I got a little people from Naruto, you feel me? I don't even know Naruto like that. I just looked up pain or something. Got them. I copied it from Google and just put it in here. And basically, I was just messing around with different stuff from Naruto. Testing out my CCs. And that's basically some of the stuff I do when I first started off making my hair. So I'm going to just let this play out. And if I feel like I need to tell you anything important, I just come back. So basically what I was doing right here, I just started kind of making my own gradient. And if you want a tutorial on it, it's not hard to make your own gradients for your headers. But as you can see in the video, I'm just over here messing around with it. And I just kind of went to the gradient tool, picked two gradients, then um, put it across the thing. So when I did this, I just put the um, blend options on hue. Because that's why I use for most of my stuff hue or either color. I did that. Left it on there for a while. But then I went back to the original CC layer on the video. But if you wonder how I did the um, color correction. That's mostly how you get it done. Like that right there. So yeah. basically what i'm doing right here is i just go on cinema 4d mess with the text and it is actually a new link out there for cinema 4d so if you need it let me know but um yeah i messed with this text for a little bit and finally found my font and everything i want and the font i had was cambrian if you want to need another text tutorial let me know now because i do have one already out but after that i go back in here and i kind of just mess with film burns and stuff on here messing with all the different um blending options on them but yeah i do that for a little bit add a little bit of smoke from the Exodus pack and all that gonna be in the description. So basically around this part of the video, I just look for images to put on the text. And actually what I do with the text is get another layer on top, put it on color burn, create a clipping mask, and put something else inside of it. 
Now, like I said, I do have a text tutorial if you can't understand what I just said. So, you feel me? If you need to learn how to do that, just go look at the tutorial. But, yeah, I'm just messing around with the text, messing with all the blended options, figuring out which one is the best. And I usually do this on every header I make. So, you just want to pay more attention to that. Um, you can slow the video down. You feel me? That's why I try to make the video longer so you get a better understanding. But, yeah, I'm just messing with the text, putting like a black spot around. I usually do that in every head also and back right here i start messing with the gradient again trying to figure out which one i want to use and end up getting more images so i'm gonna let this play out and yeah So basically what I'm doing right now is, as you can see, I did the social media, and if you want to basically get a better understanding that, you can go look at my last band tutorial, but I did that, and the fun will be in the description or the comment section, and I'm kind of just messing around with stuff at this point, and kind of getting close to the end of the header, actually, but I'm just putting these little symbols around, I don't even know what they're called, bro, <laughs> but I'm putting the symbols around, just messing with those also, I think I went to the eraser tool, kind of erased a little bit off the edge, and hit control J, and then pasting them all type of places but yeah basically what i'm doing right here and if i feel like i need to explain anything else like right here black shadow just putting it over the um the characters and stuff and yeah for the text i'm just messing with that also and just try to pay attention to the video if you really want to learn what i'm doing you can just slow it down you probably get a better understanding of it and but yeah if you enjoyed the video so far man just drop a like and subscribe it would be highly appreciated Alright, so basically right here, I'm getting near the end, and the effect you just seen me do is basically me adding a scroll to the text, and kind of what that effect, what I was doing is um just adding a scroll, turn the field down, keep the opacity up, but yeah, as you can see, I'm just messing with camera raw settings, and I merged visible for everything, messing with the settings right here, and basically what I do is do my little glow effect, I have a tutorial on that also, I'm um, doing the image glow effect thing right here, just messing with the color, all that type of stuff, then I merged them layers, add some colors put it on screen to lighten up the image a little bit and it's basically how you make it man if you want a more in-depth tutorial get this video to 50 likes maybe i'll draw one of those too so you get the psd and another in-depth tutorial but if you enjoy make sure you drop a like subscribe being boy dragon peace out